Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And this is a much awaited video because a lot of customers did ask us in past as well to make a video about this unboxing video about this dual lens tandem view PTZ speed dome camera. Because this camera has two lenses. As you can see, dual lens, one is fixed lens, which is like a bullet camera, 2.8 fixed lens, and this is the one PTZ. It can pan and zoom as well. So this is a much awaited one. People do ask me because uh, what happens? It has two lenses and how to connect two lenses or sorry two cameras basically these are two cameras back of the nvr they can see only one camera they can't see the other camera so we're going to show you how you can see the other camera as well but right now the unboxing video of this heat vision tandem view ptz camera let me show you the model number the model number is this is a four megapixel the model number as you can see here ds i'll show you make it easy ds2 se 4c 425 mwg dash e and 14 uh, 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 fo okay it's a 4 megapixel and the speed is 25 time optical zoom okay so we have one expert who always buy these cameras install them and he's with me so sh tell us something about this camera why this camera is so good why you keep buying this camera again and again yeah because uh, because this camera does have dual lens first of all mm -hmm. you don't need to buy two cameras okay uh, and to work this camera you have to use only one ethernet cable okay only back one ethernet NV cable even though it has two cameras okay, yes. okay. So back okay. to the nvr okay and uh, uh, if you open the ca camera and uh, this does have one fixed lens uh, camera okay and one ptz which is oh what about this oh this is the this is the mounting mounting bracket oh that comes with the camera okay guys just to let you know a lot of ptz camera they do come with the mountain bracket no the, sorry they don't come but this ptz camera come with a mountain bracket wall and mount. a wall bracket yes wall mounting. and maximum 10 kg weight it can handle yes easily so that's good thing about this camera and it has as well yeah. okay that's good and let's see what comes with this and these are the screws as well these are the, these are the, not the, screws, these the wall are. anchors wall fixing wall okay for this one. for this mounting okay and this is the uh, power supply and what volt, 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 voltage power supply this is uh, this is 24 volt power 24 supply. volt power not 12 supply. volt okay 24 volt yes. let me show you properly and let's see the connection of this okay that's the connection of this power supply and this rubber boot for the rubber camera boot, for you okay this is allen, allen key, key. So for okay okay allen key for hide the one. camera okay loose and okay adjust the camera okay there's the camera now this is uh, uh, wall mount ceiling okay mount. ceiling mount yeah okay you can seal mount okay you can do a ceiling mount as well okay that's good oh, that's it. and the uk catalyst just to give power to the power supply okay and, and the this. okay let's show us how to do the connection let me take this and it's a little bit no so how to make a connection yes okay that's the way okay this is the that's the ptz camera and there's a fixed lens camera okay let me hold this one just to show you and this all what about this setting here uh, can we reset the password is, this is for yeah you can reset the password within this uh, cover okay uh, you, this is for sd card as well okay and okay. Uh, let me see or oh, you can use the sd card as well let me show you one second this won't open this allen key works with this one okay yeah, this is okay so you want to see what is inside this okay So you can reset the password, yes? Yeah. Are these camera Wi-Fi or not? No, they are not Wi-Fi. Okay. okay. So this is SD card, this will reset. Oh, this is the SD card slot and you can do the reset as well from here okay that's very good what about the audio these cameras have audio or not yeah okay oh they come with the audio as well yeah. oh that's very good do we need a separate cable for the audio or is one, it, no no it's a, okay 
This is okay, okay. This is one way audio. Okay. Carry on, let me bring something so you can see the measurement of this uh, camera as well. Can you hold the camera for me, please? Once you hold the camera, so we can see the measurement as well. Okay. If you put the wall mount as well, you know, wall bracket. One foot. Okay, nearly one foot. Okay, one foot. Okay. And here, nearly six inches. Yeah, six to seven inches yes, maximum. Okay, this size. You know what? People sometimes do need the measurement as well. So if they're planning to install, they know how the camera. How big is the camera? Okay, guys. This is unboxing of this camera. Soon we are going to join you now. We are going to uh, uh, behind the and we are going to we are going to uh, install this camera now. So we are using four channel NVR and we'll show you how you can see two cameras. Initially one camera will appear. So how you can add the second camera? We'll show you that. So join you soon. Thank you, guys. We have just showed you the unboxing of this uh, tandem view PTZ camera with with dual lens. So now what we are doing? We are going to add this camera back of our NVR and we'll show you how you can configure this camera. Okay, this is the camera now we have here. So we have an Ethernet cable. Okay, so this is our Ethernet cable, network cable. So we are using a port number one of the NVR. So NVR is here now and we have connected the NVR and we have is online as well. And as you can see, okay, no camera is connected back of the NVR. So we are going to connect one camera first. Port number one, okay. This is done now, so we are going to add this camera. Here is our here is our PTZ camera. Okay, guys, so we are connecting now. And this PTZ camera might take a couple of minutes, yes? So you have to show some patience because it takes time. So as you can see the screen now, what you have to do once you connect this PTZ camera, and then you have to go to the setting here, con sorry, configuration, then go to the camera. Okay, as you can see, the because we are using port number one the camera is detecting now it takes a couple of minutes yes because it's a big camera it has two uh, two, two lenses so it takes a couple of minutes okay now you can see that when the camera is going to activate you can see the camera will move okay the bottom camera is ptz and the top camera is fixed lens normally what happens when you connect this camera on your d1 uh the by default, this PTZ camera will appear, not this one, yes? So first camera, when you connect, this will appear, PTZ camera, by default. And then manually, you have to add the second camera, which is a fixed lens camera here. So we're going to show you now. And, okay, the camera is still showing, detecting. As you can see, it takes some time. So sometimes people say, oh, hang on, oh, I can't see the camera. Why it taking so long? Maybe the camera is faulty. Nothing like that. It takes time. So it's detecting. We don't want to pause the video so people that's why sometimes people get confused or because pause the video and showing oh camera is showing instantly no not like that that's why we carry on the video so you can see practically how long does it take to appear on the end or on the screen see the camera is now moving okay the bottom camera is a ptz camera this should appear and the top camera is a fixed lens camera okay see okay that's wow okay and this is powered by this nvr nvr is pro nvr so can you believe it just a small cable network cable does everything yes such a big camera okay so it's still showing detecting so nearly i think okay now still showing detecting so you have to show some patience so hopefully within next 20 30 second it might appear let's see okay camera is perfect now now if you go live view we can see the camera okay guys just to prove you this one the camera which shows at first is bottom camera which is ptz let me show you now let me put my hand so i'll show you so this is the camera so when the first camera when the camera will activate that's the bottom camera. That's the PTZ will activate first. Now the second camera, yeah, that's the question yeah. people do ask. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, we can move later on. Just to show you, the first camera is PTZ. Now people do ask, hang on, where's the second camera? That's the question. That's why we're making this video. So just to show where the second camera, what we have to do, go to the setting configuration, camera, 
find out the IP address of this camera. What is the IP address of this camera is 254.2. Okay, that's the IP address of this camera 2. So we need to add one more camera. So we are going to use the second port. Okay, and then do custom add. Okay, here second port, then we do here, edit, and then plug and play, change to manual because we are adding manually. And what's the camera uh, IP address is 2. Okay, so this is done. Now, Hikvision, so we are using port number 2 now. First, we already connected. So we are using port number 2. So select the port number 2 and the password of your NVR. Okay. Okay, done. And then do, okay. So soon, the second D2, want to show the second camera. Okay, now, as you can see, the camera is showing now here. Let's go to the live view. And the, both the cameras are here now. Okay. So camera number here, one, which is the PTZ camera. And the camera number two, which is the fixed length camera. Let me show you the fixed length camera. Okay. Here you can see here now. That's a fixed length camera on a D2. And the PTZ camera on a D1. Yes. Now we are going to add this camera on our mobile phone. And sh show you how you can play around with the camera. Yes. And let's go to the network. Hit connect. So... Okay, that's okay. So we are going to scan this QR code and the status is showing online. Make sure your camera connected to the router. Yes, that status should be online. That why that's why you can see on your mobile phone. Now we have a mobile phone here now. So okay, and then go to hit connect. Just scan the QR code. Once you scan the QR code, as you can see, the NVR is now connected. Now add it to our account. We go next. And you can skip this one and now the NBR is now here so one second let me and we are connecting it refresh okay now you can see both the camera let's go to first PTZ camera okay now we have PTZ camera. Let's see here now the PTZ option here. So we are going to move this camera. If I move this camera here, the camera is moving as well. You can see with me now. Yes, this is the camera here now. Camera will move as well. See, the camera is moving as well. Okay, so you can operate this through your mobile app as well. Sometimes people do say, oh, it has to only connect to the, so you can see, you can see it moving as well on your screen. Okay, guys, so you can move this camera easily through your mobile app. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Let me show you one more thing. Okay, one more second. Let me see. This is the here. So what is important? Let's say if you have... Uh, Four cam uh, two cameras already connected that means this camera is a dual lens camera so you need to dedicate two port that means you can add two more cameras not like that you connect to three cameras then you add one more camera this camera behave like a two camera not like one camera so make sure you need one extra port for the camera as well so four channel means if you add this camera that means you can only connect two more IP cameras back of this NVR not more than that okay guys that's all for today hope this video helps you and join you soon with next more video. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.